The use of electronic cigarettes has risen exponentially in recent years. With the popularity of a cigarette alternative on the rise, there are questions that follow. What are electronic cigarettes? What makes them work, and why are they so popular? To answer these questions and more, we spoke with Michael Glassick, owner of Vape City, a local vape shop in the Kennesaw area. This really is, with electronic cigarettes, you're firing an atomizer, which basically it's a heating element that sits on a wicking material, and as your liquid wicks up onto the, or onto the, uh, the wick, your atomizer actually fires it, it heats up, and it atomizes it and turns it into vapor. Your basic batteries, it's a lithium ion rechargeable battery, it's very similar to the, what you have on your cell phone. It comes with the basic tank, these are just our basic starter kits. The tank is a throwaway tank, so after about a week, the coil starts to go on, you're gonna come in and buy a better tank, something similar to this, or some other options we have. They're very, very simple though. You've got five clicks, turn your battery on, five clicks, turn your battery off. Very simple, not a whole lot to it, not a whole lot to confuse people. Here at Vape City, they pride themselves in creating a quality product. Yeah, I can't wait till the, uh, the FDA gets involved. To be honest with you, we're, we're already, our lab and everything is far beyond what they're going to uh, initiate. I want them to get involved. I want the health inspectors to come and inspect people's labs so that it regulates the industry. So, you know, our propylene glycol is 99.9% .9 pure. Our nicotine is 99.9% .9 pure. Our vegetable glycerin is 99.7% pure. We literally, if we find something more pure, we move to it immediately. We don't wait because that's our thing. We don't make as much on our e-liquids as some other manufacturers because we don't buy ingredients to maximize our profit, we buy the ingredients to make the best, the best liquid possible. With any form of smoking, there are health concerns for both the smoker and those around them. To dig deeper into the impact electronic cigarettes may have upon a person's health, we spoke with healthcare professional Judy Mill. The chief officer of the American Lung Association has stated that there are no long-term or short-term uh, negative effects with the exception of the fact that it is, uh, does contain nicotine, which is addictive property. Just from the people that you pull that use the electronic cigarettes versus the actual cigarettes, the nicotine is one of the only chemicals in the electronic cigarettes versus the over 4,000 chemicals that are in the actual tobacco yeah. cigarette alone. So I think that, um, you know, if they got addicted to the e-cigarette, it might be a good uh, alternative for them. I think that they could use it maybe in place of the cigarette. So. As the use of electronic cigarettes becomes more common, so does the acceptance of it as a tobacco alternative. So now, the decision is up to you.